6 p.m. always sneaks up on me when I'm editing cooking videos and saving the world from culinary disaster. Before you know it, I have to pick up the kids from school and dinner has not even been started yet. That's when my favorite Japanese glazed fish comes to the rescue. It's a five minute dinner. If you don't turn your radishes into flowers on a Tuesday night, don't worry. I don't either. That's all for YouTube. Today, I'll show you how to make this dish with trout, but feel free to substitute any other fish. Let's set a non-stick pan over high heat and add a teaspoon of grapeseed oil or whichever one you use for high heat. While the pan is preheating, let's prep our fish. Dry it thoroughly on paper towels. Moisture is the enemy of browning and considering how thin our fish is, we can't waste any skillet time. We need browning nice and fast. Sprinkle with a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Go easy here because we'll be adding soy sauce. Both sides, please. The skin is delicious once we crisp it up and we want it to be well seasoned. When the pan is nice and hot, place the trout in the pan skin side down. Cook until the skin is golden brown and flip. Turn the heat down to medium-low and add one tablespoon of mirin and one tablespoon of Japanese-style soy sauce. I'm using low-sodium tamari brand. No need to go to an Asian market. These ingredients are so common that every supermarket carries them these days. Swirl the pan to coat the bottom with all this sweet and salty goodness. If some parts of the fish stick up, you can gently press on them with a spatula to help them pick up the glaze. And cook for a minute or two until it turns sticky and the bottom of the fish turns deep brown. If you're on an electric stove, have another burner ready on medium-low heat. If your burner takes its time cooling off, it could burn the glaze. Flip the fish over for a few seconds. This gives the skin a chance to pick up some glaze. Give the pan a few shakes to distribute the glaze all over the skin. Looks good. Let's take it out. See this brown stickiness? It's like fish candy and absolutely addictive. You know what this reminds me of? Unadon. Those beautiful lacquered bowls of rice with glazed eel. It's embarrassing that even a trip to Japan hasn't taught me to cut fish skin with chopsticks. Can someone make a video on how to do that, please? Info on how to adjust this recipe for thicker fish is on my blog linked below this video. For more fun fish recipes, don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel. And if you're ever in the Boston area, Maybe I'll see you in my one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish class.